But that said, you know, um, now we're going to go on to the really big shoe, as they would say. And um, I want to introduce um, Joe Conza, who's the photographer who's featured on our walls right now. Both Pedro Juan and I worked on curating the show, and Joe was a fabulous person to work with, and I'm sure he'll give you lots of words of wisdom. So everybody hand for Joe Conza, please. <laughs> Peace and blessings, everybody. I want to thank you for coming out today. Um, a little bit about myself. A uh, Puerto Rican kid, born and raised in the South Bronx. I came from a, come from a big political activist family. That's a picture of my grandmother on the wall there. At Sentinel's named after her. Uh, those are her words up on, the, on, on my exhibition over there. Uh, my grandmother, Dr. Evelyn Antonetti, was instrumental with Dr. Antonio Pantojas in starting bilingual education in the public schools, some of youth programs, some of lunch programs. Um, my father was Tito Puente's manager. I went to school with some of the pioneers, some of the pillars of hip hop. So when I wasn't hanging out with my dad, taking pictures of Celia Cruz, Hector Laval, and all those beautiful musicians, I was hanging out with the guys I went to school with, Africa Bambada, the Cold Crush and all the guys that started hip hop. Um, what Central is doing today is fantastic. What they have been doing for years is fantastic. You know, we need to to document our history, our culture, and not allow somebody else to do it for us. Okay, and it's important that you know, if you love something so much, you know, your culture, your your whether it be music, whether hip hop, salsa, whatever it may be, it's important to know the, the, the roots and its, and its origins. You know, I have a 22 year old son today who can recite Young Jeezy and, and, and Mario and all that, but you ask him who Cool Herc is, or Africa Bambata is, he doesn't know. And these are the founding fathers of this global billion dollar industry that we call hip hop. You know, if you love something so much, know where, where it comes from. You know, how many people know that Tito Puente played on the first hip-hop record, Rapper's Delight? You know, that's history. That's our culture. You know, and my hat goes off to you guys, and, and, and I know you guys are from, like, different colleges and different groups, but coming together and, and, and forging a force to, to continue this documentation, documentation of your culture, your history, whether you're Dominican, Puerto Rican, Irish, whatever, it's important to claim or keep our own. You know, I was fortunate enough to El Centro had, for many years, they had been trying to get me to do an exhibition here, and trying to get my archives here, and it finally came to fruition a few months ago, and I hope all of you's got a chance to uh, see some of my pictures of the Bronx when the Bronx was burning, so to speak, you know, of the humble beginnings of hip hop. You know, this is a, a picture of the Cold Crush Brothers playing at my high school prom, you know, but this picture has been in countless movies, countless books, count, you know, in a whole slew of publications. And so we finally came together and we did the exhibition. And I'm honored to do something here with El Centro because, like I said, El Centro's, my grandmother's, you know, the Centro's named after my grandmother here. As you saw earlier, my aunt, Lillian Lopez, who is the head librarian of all the Bronx libraries, her papers are here. My other aunt, Elba Cabrera, her papers are here. So it's important that this continues. It's important that what you guys are doing continues. It's important that you guys continue to reach out amongst yourselves and grow and, and, and pass that knowledge, pass that history on to others and, and just grow collectively, you know. I was fortunate enough to be a uh, chubby little kid with a Angela Davis afro walking around taking pictures at a young age and never in my wildest dreams that 30 years later I would have put out a book called Born in the Bronx and that book has brought me to Korea, Japan, Amsterdam, London, going to Germany in September. I mean, it's just, it's just been a blessing. It really has. Um, that's about it. You know, know your history. You know, document your history. Document your culture. Be proud of who you are. Whoever, you know, whatever you are. And, and, and do it. And do it. And go forward and God bless.
want to have maybe a question so before we move on. Has anybody seen, actually seen some of my pictures up there? Yeah. Any questions? Anybody want to pick my brains about anything? You know, how was it taking pictures of Tito Puente as a 16 year old? Tito Puente was one of the nicest men you'll ever meet. Never walked around with bodyguards like you see Mark Anthony today and all these Jennifer Lopez with 20,000 bodyguards. Tito Puente was approachable. And like I said, you know, I just found this out recently that Tito Puente played on the Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight album. How cool is that? How cool is that? You know, the king of salsa playing on one of the first hip hop records ever recorded. It's amazing, you know. Questions? <laughs> if maybe uh, before you move to the, we're gonna go upstairs, but before you want to look at the exhibits and take the opportunity to ask questions with Joe, this is a great chance to speak to the artists and to get the real story behind the photo. So, let's do so. And you know, use this place. When I was growing up, I didn't have a, a center to go to to find out about who Lolita Lebron was, who Pedro Aviso Campos was. You know, I got that through, through my grandmother and, you know, my family. But use this place. This place is so rich with history and knowledge. You, know. and you don't have to have a project. It could be for personal reasons. As long as you have an idea and you come in, in regular hours, right? You, just you know, and our culture is so rich. So rich. So rich. So, but God bless you guys and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Stay in school. Thank you.